एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम now in the part 1 we have studied about the paramagnetic ferro and diamagnetic materials and some of the important characteristics of that uh, materials now in the part 2 we will studied about the bh curve i am narendra kaur now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing e book link description is given in the description box so in the bh curve so uh, we have studied about the area under the bh curve that is now these are the two kind of bh curve over here so in the first bh curve and that is the second one now area cover under the first bh curve is more than the second bh curve so this implies when there is a more area under the bh curve means the given material must be paramagnetic material it must be the paramagnetic material second if this is a paramagnetic material implies for the paramagnetic material more area means more loss more loss in the material if there is more loss in the material that means the output will be very small third the output will be very small output will be small so these are the properties of having a bh curve having the large area now for the second one in case of second bh curve area is small now in the second bh curve for the second case number 1 area is small now if the area is small implies the material must be ferromagnetic ferromagnetic material means all the magnetic lines of force they can be they can cross the material so so in this case area is small automatically material is ferromagnetic and the energy loss will be very small if the energy loss is small to automatically efficiency or output that is very large so in order to form the core of the transformer we we basically require very much efficiency and very much output so that's why core of the transformer that is made up by the iron material iron or copper because they are ferromagnetic materials and having the very much uh, lesser uh, loss and automatically efficiency or output that is very large now this is a uh, so in the part 2 we have studied about the bh curve and also studied ki why the ferromagnetic materials are preferred in order to form the core of the transformer now if you want to study this topic in detail kindly refer this book by s chand publishing ebook link description is given in the description box if you like this video please kindly like subscribe and share this video and also press the bell icon for the future notifications all rights reserved This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.